Hi everyone, it's Joel here again, and today what we're looking at is my Adobe Capture project. This was a three-session project where we started taking photos, went on to Adobe Capture, used Adobe Sketch, and finished things off in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so this will be a three-video series. This first video is concentrating on what I got the students to do with Adobe Capture. So essentially, what I've already asked them to do is to go out and take a couple of photos. One photo being uh, something for a custom brush, and one photo being for a custom pattern. So let's see how we make those. Let's start Adobe Capture. I've already signed in, so it should just come up here. And you can see at the top it says Confessions. That's a library that I created. I've got a whole lot of other libraries as well. If you don't have a library, uh, just press the plus button there and create a library for yourself. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a pattern. So I'm going to tap on the Patterns tab up here and press the plus button to get started. And it's uh, not showing anything because it's in camera mode right now and my iPad is closed with a cover so there's nothing showing. So I'm going to get my picture from the iPad. So I'm going to tap on the top right and I got the students to go to camera roll, but mine are actually saved in my Creative Cloud account. So I'm going to go to my assets, and since I'm doing the pattern, I'm going to start with the leaves here. This is some leaves that I took out in the garden, and I'll open that. So here it is, and uh, it's looking pretty basic right now. This is a grid, this is sort of a square grid pattern here. If I tap on the left here for a hexagonal um, one that looks good. Uh, next one has this kind of look and this kind of look and this kind of look. So really it's just a matter of deciding what your aesthetic wants to be. Uh, I quite like this one because it looks a little painterly. It looks like someone's been uh, painting this nicely. So um, I like that one. So I'm going to capture that by pressing the uh, capture button there. Now here is where we can adjust things. I can move this triangle um, in anywhere in my picture and I get different kinds of effects depending on where in the uh, picture it is. So, and I can also rotate the picture like this and get all sorts of things. All right, so let's say um, I quite like, say that, quite like that effect. So then when you're happy, you press next. And here you can preview it. There's no more editing to be done, but you can zoom out and see what it looks like zoomed out and zoomed in. Obviously, if you go all the way in, it starts giving away what the picture actually is. Um, but that looks nice. I'm happy with that. So let's press next. Okay, so there's the pattern. There's the original picture at the bottom. It's saving into my confessions library, which is what I want. I will rename it. I'll tap that and I'll rename it and call it uh, just leaves. And that's fine, and press Save Pattern. So then that pattern has now been saved into the Creative Cloud Library, and the, the uh, Confessions Library. Okay, so now we're going to go to Brushes and create a custom brush. I'm going to press plus again. The process is pretty much the same. I'm not using my camera, so I'm going to go to the top and get it off my iPad. Again, I'm getting it from my Creative Cloud account. Here is the stones. That I took outside and I'll open that up. I'm going to use this for my brush. Now you'll see that some of it is see-through and you can control that with this slider. If you put it all the way down it's completely opaque and if you put it all the way up it's uh, it's a mess basically. Um, somewhere in the middle is good. So what you're looking at, what this is saying to you is if you put it all the way to the end here this is sort of like a thick brush that's not going to have any kind of um, uh, any, sorry, um, any kind of uh, transparency at all to it. A little bit of transparency might be good for me, so I'm going to keep it on that. And then uh, when you're happy with it, you press the green button here. And if you had the kind of picture that needed cropping, you could do that, but I'm pretty happy with it, so I'll just keep on pressing next until I get to the next bit. And you'll see here is where we can really... Um, uh, develop our own style. So this is how it looks right now. I'm just using my finger to move around the right side of the iPad and that gives me a little preview of what it looks like. Uh, maybe if I started colouring something what that would look like. And there's some presets here uh, but what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to tap on edit brush and there are some tabs at the top and really the one that I use is preset. I want to edit the preset. 
And here we can do all sorts of things. So let me just do a nice one down like that so I can see what I'm doing. So I can edit the size of the brush. I can edit the flow of the brush, the opacity basically. So maybe I want it slightly op opaque. You can make it black or white or RGB as you like. Right now, it's stretched. You can see that because it, the whole picture is stretched. But if I check on linear, you can now see the pictures within my brush. I'm not sure I want it that way. I quite like this mirror one though. Um, so I might keep it at that. Uh, looks like pressure is grayed out. Not much I can do with that. The velocity. So if you want to start it off thick, gets thinner in the middle, or maybe the opposite. Uh, the flow, again, you can change. And the texture, I'm actually going to give this quite a noisy texture, and maybe bump up the flow, because um, I want this to have a sort of sandstone, sandstone look to it. So I quite like that. Let's see how this looks now. Okay, not bad, not bad. Interesting. Yep. Um, you can change the anti-alias so it sort of feathers it around it, so I might increase that. And you can turn on fade, and you can turn on taper, and that gives it a certain look, more of a calligraphy kind of look. Okay, so let's keep it at that. That looks good. And I'll press done. So there we go. This is the brush that I've created. All right. And I'm happy with it, so I'm going to press next. And here again, I'll name it, and I'll call it Sandstone. Let's change that name, Sandstone. And it's going in my Confessions folder. And all I have to do is pre uh, press Save. All right, so I've created a pattern and I've created a brush. So in my next video, I'm going to call on those two things. Well, actually, no, I'm going to call on the brush in Adobe Sketch. And I'm going to do a quick little picture for you, uh, show you how you can access custom brushes. And uh, then we'll put it all into Photoshop in the third video. So, signing off for now. Thanks a lot for listening.